All right, so all we are on to the first platinum, only platinum. Why? Well, kind of. We'll get into that later. So um, this guy is the Clendenin Family Vineyards El Goat 2018. This is from the Santa Maria AVA. And if that Clendenin name sounds familiar, he's that family, I should say, but Jim Clendenin in particular um, is one of the more notable Burgundy grape producers in the Santa Barbara kind of Central Coast area. If you've had Au Bon Climat, you've had Pinot, Chardonnays, Pinot Gris, what have you, made by him. Um, so this is just a continuation of that vision, and I believe they use the same vineyards for many of these grapes. So Alagote, um, definitely onto one of those varieties you might not have heard of. So Alagote is kind of a minor Burgundy white grape. It's seen at least over there, is kind of a cheaper alternative to Chardonnay, um, and it's used quite a bit as a blending grape in Cremant de Bourguignon, um, just when Chardonnay uh, gets a little too expensive and they need something a little bit cheaper. Um, over there, it tends to have a very sleek, very mineral-driven, very savory, old-world feel to it. Um, and of course, when we put it over somewhere considerably warmer in Santa Maria, things might change a little bit, so let's let's get after it. Um, very kind of pale yellow, I'd say pale gold. It's, it's very light, you know, kind of some white shimmering hues, um, but it's definitely a very, very delicate looking wine overall. Yeah, the nose is, is, is subtle. It's restrained. You get a little bit of kind of this vegetal thing going on. You get a little bit of a, a Britannomyces thing going on, like a little bit of a funkiness to it, not in a super pleasant way, but it's just really, really nice and restrained. You get a little bit of apples, a touch of tropical fruit, but overall just a super delicate restrained nose. Yeah, and the palate is is big, plush, and rich. It's very ripe, like kind of honey crisp apple. A little bit of melon like honeydew melon that kind of thing going on there is a little bit of what some might perceive as like a buttery thing going on i'm sure this goes through some malolactic fermentation it does see a fair amount of time in oak i think about 10 months and in, in, uh in mostly french oak um so yeah this is definitely while i would say initially that this is like a wine for the chardonnay lover this is such a fun interesting take on a grape that is rarely seen over here so i i encourage everybody to give it a try because you'll love it <laughs> 